Have you tried okra like this? So all I've done here was take and cut up the okra, put it in the big bowl, and salted it. And then I put it in my dehydrator. This is a regular green okra. I don't know the exact name of it. It's just a regular green okra and then a crimson okra. These are both okras that we got seeds from Baker's Creek. Okra is also good raw. Pretty good raw. And uh, I asked someone, someone was talking about it, and I asked them, does it not itch your throat? And uh, they said no. So finally, me and Lee tried it one day, and it's pretty dang good, especially with salt on it. So here's some of the dehydrated okra. And it is really good. Uh, we had seen that some people had dehydrated okra and we wondered how it tasted and we were going to try it, but we were over at Shannon and Beverly's house doing a live show. Um, they are um, strong enough to bend Homestead and uh, they have a new channel. She had gave us a taste of hers and to be honest, we thought it tasted a whole lot like fried okra. So um, we uh, decided to do some of our own. And I really believe that it tastes a lot like fried okra. And it's crunchy and good. Very much like fried okra. It makes a great snack or it can be thrown in soup. But it tastes like fried okra. It's wonderful. Okra is also good raw. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> It really is. Actually, it's pretty dang good. Pretty good raw. The first time I saw anybody eat raw okra was actually Living Traditions Homestead. Um, Sarah and Kevin, they were out there in their garden showing somebody their garden and they ate raw okra. And I was like, ooh, that stuff itches me to death. I can't pick okra because it itches me. He usually does all the picking of the okra, cutting of the okra, because it itches me. Covering myself. I'm covering myself. Eat your raw okra. <laughs> mm. It's <Is> good. good. <laughs>